Hey, welcome back to the bench. So, since the last video, the parts have come in, so this time I want to add a constant current discharger to my 18650 discharge station. Uh, in this video, I'm going to start the design and putting some of it together. So the first thing I want to do is work on the constant current load. So to do that, I'm going to use a op amp and because this is going to be a fairly high current we use a MOSFET uh, this will be an N channel I can never remember how you draw these properly I think it's something like that and we want our load resistor so we're going to have a uh, 1 ohm load resistor to ground and then we'll connect the drain over to the battery Battery down to ground and then what we want to do is for the input control the output over here so we're going to connect the non-inverting input back to here so this should make sure that whatever voltage we place here which we will control with a trim pot our 5 volt line. So if we trim this to be 1 volt and we have 1 ohm that means that the load on our battery should be um, 1 over 1 volt over 1 ohm which would be equal to 1 amp. If we change this to 0 0.5 volts over 1 ohm we get half an amp. So I specifically try to choose the most accurate parts I can get on a budget. So I'm going to be using a LT1013 for the operational amplifier, which is a high precision rail to rail amplifier. So we should be able to take the output all the way from our five volt rail all the way down to hopefully our negative rail at zero volts or ground rail at zero volts. Um, which should give us the full range of freedom for different loads. Um, being that these batteries, I don't really want to be discharging them at super high uh, currents. Uh, I have opted to go with uh, 10, 10 ohm, 1%, 0 0.6 watt resistors. So we should have uh, in parallel that would create a 1 ohm resistor, 1% 1 precision at 6 watts. This worked out a lot cheaper than buying a 1 ohm 1% 1 6 watt uh, power resistor um, which were in the order of pounds whereas these 10 resistors were uh, 25 pence. The LT1013 is a high precision op amp and because it's high, high precision it is a bit more expensive at around £2.50 and finally I'm going to be using the IRL Z44 um, MOSFET on the output which come in at around 90 pence. So a total of around four pounds for the whole uh, component uh, bill of materials. So here I have the MOSFET, I have our amplifier and the 10 resistors and I'm now going to take all this, get it on a breadboard so we can test it out. Okay, here we go. Um, so I have on here now the the pot, the uh, the amplifier, and the ten uh, ten ohm resistors all connected up. Uh, I haven't got the uh, the MOSFET on at the moment, so because the, the first thing I want to do is uh, trim our 
input. So let's get the power onto this. So at oh, 0.5, that's quite handy. Where is my little trim screwdriver? So let's take this down a notch. So that means that we should be getting about now 0 0.5 volts on the output of the op amp. So if we connect over to the output, I've temporarily got this red jumper in here to replace the MOSFET, so we're getting 5 volts on the output as well. Fantastic. So let's get the MOSFET in this and connect it up to a battery, put the, uh, the meter on it and see how much we are drawing. Okay, so everything's now in place. We have the FET in and I've now connected it up to a single 18650 cell down here. We have our 10, 10 ohm resistors in parallel. So we now should have still on the input of our op amp. So we have point five, ooh, we have point five nine nine volts. Excellent. And on the pin on the output of our op amp through the MOSFET is now 0.954, which means across our resistors is 0.95 of a volt. It should mean these now are dropping half a amp from this battery. So let's turn this thing up and see if we can draw some more. It's 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0.9, 1 volt, which now means we should be dropping 1 amp across those resistors. So I think I'm going to leave it there for today. We have a, uh, a constant current load working with a single cell. Um, it is discharging. I think for next time I need to order uh, bigger heat sinks for this MOSFET and I will figure out a way to replace this potentiometer with a microcontroller. And in the next video, I'll also look at placing some voltage measurement across this battery so we know when to cut off the discharge. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.